Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro and in this video we are going to discuss one real world tax scenario. That means as you can see on your screen there is a table where you have a plan fat date, actual fat date and there is a column first date of plan and actual. It's a question posted on RBI community so I picked it up from there itself. Over here if you look closely the last column is basically for the status. So what the user wanted over here that if your plan date and actual fat date is gonna be the plan then only you should display the status of that otherwise it should display only the blank values nothing else and for that i have created one table just to demo this particular case that how we can work on that if you're new on power bi then please do note that dex is the data analysis expression which is a formula based language that we used to use similarly in the excel as well and in this video we are going to discuss one real world dex example if you are new to DEX, then please don't forget to watch our DEX tutorial as well as our DEX Sundays series where I have explained all the DEX functions clearly. Now, let me show you my table. This is my table where we have the plan fat date and actual fat date over here. Now, we are going to go to our transform data tab where we are going to add some more rows into this table which are blank. So, let me go quickly over here. I have some other tables as well, so please ignore them. We are not going to use them. So let me try to add some more blank rows over there. And I hope so far we can understand this and they are going to be there. So now you can see that we have two rows which have no value. So these are null. And you can also consider them as blank values. Now I'm going to simply close and apply. So now this is our table where I have two blank values. And I would like to display the status over here. And for that, we have to write a text. So let me just drop it down and here we are going to write a very simple X. So first of all, I'm going to use the switch statement over here. Switch is a DEX function which is going to return different results depending on the values of an expression. Over here, whenever we start working on switch DEX function, we have to write true. That means whenever something is going to be true, then it's only going to return the results. And we are going to start with is blank so is blank is another text function which is going to check whether a value is blank and return true or false but we don't just want the is blank what we need we want to make sure that there is no blank value and for that we are going to write not is blank so this is just going to be the opposite to what is blank does so it's going to make sure that there should not be any blank value and for that we are going to use our first value or first column as the plan fat date and then I'm going to say end end condition. That means if and only if when both of these conditions are going to true, then only it's going to return the result. Then I'm going to write my, again, the same text function. That means note is blank. And here I'm going to write for the actual plan date. So we have this actual fat date, not plan date. And over here I'm going to write the actual fat date. Now this is the one. Now we have written that. I want to display the result only when there's no blank value. So then we are going to mark it by a comma, which is a line separator over here. You have to go to the next line, otherwise it's not going to work. Now let's give it a tab and over here we are going to use the if statement. And what I'm going to say over here, that if my plant fat date is greater than or equal to my actual date, for example, you are working where your plan date is in September, but you already finished the work in August. That means it's good. That means you have completed your work on time or before time. So in this case, let me take the actual as well. And then I would like to display a message on time. Now, if you would like to separate this as well into two different statements, you can do that, which one would be greater than another would be equal. So if it's greater than the plan date is greater than the actual date, it would be before time, not on time. But here I'm just taking it inside one statement itself. And my another one would be the simple, again the same, but I'm just going to copy it and paste it. But I'm going to change it here, less than. So if it's less than, then it would be late, not on time. Now there's one more case remains. When my both of the blank and actual fat dates are blank, then it should display the blank only. For that, you can either leave it over here as it is. Also, what you can do, you can write another DEX expression over here by saying if, and you can just copy from here, is blank till here, if and 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 delete this, 
If both of these are blank, then display the blank result over there. And now you can close this, again this, and again this. And lastly, you can also close the last bracket, or you can simply hit the enter button or the return key on your keyboard. Also, you can simply commit from here. And now let's see how the results are looking like. So over here, you can notice that if my planned fat date was on 1st of September and my actual fat date was also 1st of September, it was on time. If my plan date is in 1st of October, however, I finished my job on my actual fat date is of 14th of October, then it's late and so on. And when there's a blank, it's going to display only the blank values. So this is a way that you can write the DEX code using if, switch and blank DEX expressions. If you have any question and concern and also if you have any of your DEX scenarios, please don't forget to mention in the comment section. If you are in need of any Power BI training, please don't forget to contact us. Till then, enjoy DEX and also keep practicing DEX. See you in the next video.